Hey, Brian, that's really well said. What you said, I mean, just a few months ago, these Johnson County folks were very familiar with what was going on with their neighbors in Whiteland. So many of the people I talked to here, I'll step out of the frame and give you a look at some of this damage. The folks I talked to here said they knew about this storm. They were ready for it and prepared because of what had happened in Whiteland so recently that they knew where their safe space was. They were paying attention to the news and to the weather, and they were ready to go. But you can see this tornado came right past where we're standing right now. You see these homes with parts of their roof taken off. There's no home here that has uh, any of its shingles still not on the ground somewhere. This white, a white fence used to be here. These brand new electrical power poles, they were even damaged and they are just months old. Some of these homes completely damaged. We want to show you some video of this tornado that was sent to us by a viewer yesterday, along with some video that we've taken uh, over the past few days of all the damage left behind. Some of these homes here in the Clary Crossing area are not livable anymore. Some are even expected that they might fall down with some of the stronger winds that could come by later today. And we talked to people who, when they heard those tornado sirens going off Sunday, they came out to take a look and they saw a tornado forming just hundreds of feet from them. I ran in, jumped in my tub, put my hands over my head and yelled, oh my God, oh my God. Then I heard the roof come off. And I heard glass breaking and things hitting the house and just prayed that the house wouldn't cave in. So, and then it went silent. There has been already so much work here and there's a lot more to do. The good news is that the power crews are moving quickly. City officials tell me they're hoping power will be restored to everyone by around this time Wednesday. So just about two days from now, they're hoping to have power completely restored across the affected area. Three, a three mile path here of damage from this tornado. Brian, back to you. Are you wrapping it up? Are you done for the day? Or are you Yeah, this is definitely some of the worst damage that you can see behind me and in the surrounding area. And the first reports of damage came from this area. Now you can see this garage has collapsed here behind me and actually a freezer and a fridge flew from this garage and went into a pond that's here right behind the camera. Now, if you go to the other side of the property, you can see the home. It was actually ripped off of its foundation and it is now not livable. Now I want you to take a look at this video. This is right down the street from where we're at now exactly at the intersection of Travis and Mullenix Road. The homeowner there, Rick Payne, says he and his family literally dove for cover when they saw debris flying out the window. Then the overhang on his front porch was ripped off and flew over the home. He says all the damage that you see happened really quickly. He says he doesn't think it was more than 15 seconds. Just for that split moment, it just you felt that and just an implosion and then it sounded literally like a jet plane was crashing around our house. The residents in that area tell me they are still without power, but have been told it should be back within the next 24 hours. But all of them said to me they're just glad that everyone is OK. Now, coming up at 430, you're going to hear from this homeowner who lives here in his next steps to recovery. For now, live in Johnson County, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. All right, Kaylee, thank you. The